hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to do a makeup glam and i'll be following this beautiful look that you can see on your screen by makeup by rama please do well to follow them on instagram i'll try to replicate this particular look and i hope that i do well so the first thing i did was to apply a hair gel on my brows just to make sure that everything stays in place and then after that i went ahead to draw my brows to using a davis brow pencil by lining underneath the brow and at the top of the brow and then after that i went ahead to fill up the areas where there are no much hair so right now i'm going to conceal and i'm going in with a shade of concealer that is about three tones lighter than that on my skin tone and this concealer is from v beauty so i'm just going to use that lighter shade to highlight underneath the arc that you can see right there and then for the inner corner of my brow i'm going to go in with my shade of foundation and right now i'm just going to blend everything so that it looks good so you need to make sure that you blend properly so that everything comes out nice so for the top of the brow i'm going to go in with my shade of foundation just so that when i'm applying the foundation all over my face it's going to be easier to blend so go in with your shade of foundation at the top of your brow it's just going to make blending easy for you so at this point i'm going to use a bigger brush to blend 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 but still a blending brush though i'm just going to blend all of that moving on i'm going to bring the concealer down towards my eye which is my crease area and the transition area just so that i can cover up the skin on that area and then right now i'm going in with primer and this primer is from ben 9 i'm just going to cover up that part of the eye properly using the primer just so that my skin does not show so that my skin is not obvious so at this point i'm going to go in with an orange shade of shadow but i'm using a blush today so i'm going to apply that on my transition area and then towards the inner corner of the crease and i'm just going to blend that properly i'm going to blend 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 like it takes a whole lot of time to blend properly and so for the outer corner of my eye i'm going to go into the brown shade of shadow and then blend that properly into the transition area which is into the orange part that i have right here just make sure you blend the two colors together so that you don't see harsh lines here and there so i'm going to go in with primer again on my crease area just so that the shade that i want to apply right now the shade of shadow that i want to apply right now will pop so i'm going to go in with the pink shade of shadow at this point um it wasn't actually giving me what i wanted so i decided to switch up the colors because i compared with what she did and it was quite different so i'm going to go in with the milk shade of shadow at this point i'm just going to apply that and make sure that it pops properly and that it comes out nice so when you apply that you need to make sure that you blend like i've been talking about blending since i started this video because blending is key if you're applying makeup there is no way like you just have to blend when it comes to the where it's the brows the eyes the face you have to blend properly so for the outer corner of the eye makeup again i'm going to go in with um a black shade just at the outer corner right here that you can see i'm just going to go in with the black shade so that you can pop i actually do not have big eyes so my crease area is really 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 small you can you can actually see from the shadow that i have applied today if i go overboard it's going to look awkward so i'm going to go in with glue because i have some stones and from the picture that you can see right here um they applied some stones right on the transition area stroke the crease area so i'm just going to apply these stones these are the stones that i actually have at the moment and i think it actually came out nice so i'm just going to apply that so at this point i'm going to line my eyes using this carite eye gel this black shade i'm just going to line the outer corner of my lid like this and then the water line like this so that the eye makeup can pop i'm just trying to replicate what they did in their own makeup as well because i'm just trying to you know transform myself into what they did so for mascara i'm using zaron mascara to pick the hairs properly so that the excess shadows that are falling on my natural lashes will go off 
so for my face i'm going in with this zaron hydrating serum i'm just going to apply that all over my face just you know let everything sink so that you have a very smooth and a nice work you just want to make sure that you use your hand to apply that properly so that everything sinks into the skin properly and then for face primer today i'm going in with flawless ivy face primer and i'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes my forehead my jaw my nose which is actually called the t-zone area in makeup and i'll be using my hands to do this then make sure that your hands are clean like very very clean so that you have a very smooth and a nice finishing so i'm going to apply this on these areas that i have called and then i'm going to pick my setting spray from kiss beauty and then apply all that all of that on my skin just so that the whole makeup that i've applied stays and the one that i'm going to apply stays on my skin and lasts so for foundation i'm going in with v beauty foundation you can see that it actually matches my skin tone and it looks good so i'm going to go in with v beauty foundation and i'm just going to apply that all over my face in these areas that you can see at this point and then my forehead just basically all over my face and make sure that your beauty blender is damp so that you can actually have a smooth and a flawless finish so for concealer guys i'll be going in with this adventure concealer and i'm just going to apply in these areas that you can see me apply it on this concealer is actually really really matte like it doesn't take too long for it to just dry on your skin so once you're using this you need to make sure that you are very very fast because you're not going to like your work thereafter so it just takes seconds before everything dries off so you need to make sure that you go in and then blend 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 just so that everything comes out very very smooth and nice you can see me it's you can see me dragging like it's not supposed to be the concealer is really really matte and it doesn't take too long but before it dries off so in order for me to have a very very flawless and a nice finishing i'll have to go in with the concealer again for the second time after blending the first time so at this point i'm going to pick up the concealer again and i'm going to apply just underneath my eyes because that place is very very sensitive and you can see that i have a little bulge underneath my eyes so i want to cover up that area properly so i'm just going to apply the concealer again and then blend all you have to do is just dab that on your skin just tap it on your skin no need to drag it's actually very very wrong to drag because you're going to end up creating harsh lines here and there so at this point i am going to contour my cheekbone using a darker shade of foundation like this i'm just going to contour and i'm using this foundation from zikiel i'm going to drop the shade in the description box so that you guys can see so i'm just going to contour my cheekbones like this and then afterwards i'm going to contour my nose then blend everything properly so that it comes out nice So for powder guys, I'm going to go in with this Zikel powder. In the areas where I highlighted, I'm going to go in with a lighter shade of powder. In the areas where I contoured, I'm going to go in with a darker shade of powder. That is just how it works. But basically, you want to make sure that everything blends with your neck, your skin tone. So at this point, I'm going to apply my setting powder and this setting powder is from adventure cosmetics i'm just quickly going to apply this on my t-zone area my forehead jaw underneath my eyes basically on the areas that i can easily sweat and then after doing that i'm going to also do a reverse contour underneath my cheekbone like this just so that that place can pop and it can be more defined you know structured properly and then for my smile lines also i'm just going to apply the setting powder on my smile lines so at this point i'm going to go ahead to draw my lips i'm just going to line the outer corner of my lips like this and then fill that area up and then for the down part of my lip i'm going to do the same thing and then for the inner corner of my lip i'm going to go in with a pink shade of lippy from my cheek cosmetics and i'm just going to blend that properly so that it comes out nice and so that it looks 
good I'm just going to smudge all of that using my lips to rub them against each other and then right now I'm going to go in with a lighter shade of nude and I'm just going to blend all of that so you guys know that I love gloss this is actually my favorite part when it comes to makeup I love gloss a lot so I'm going to apply that and make sure that it sits properly so right now I'm going to buff out the excess powder from my face. I'm just going to use my shade of powder to buff out the excess powder from my face like this so that everything looks good and nice. And then I'm going to highlight using this Zaron eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to place that right at the top of my cheekbones and then underneath my brows my nose and then at the bridge in between my nose rails and then on my forehead and on my jaw guys so you need to make sure that you blend that so that you don't have harsh lines and I'm going to go in with an orange shade of blush you can see how popping that looks already i'm going to go in with an orange shade of blush right there and then for setting spray i'm going to apply kiss beauty setting spray all over my face so that everything stays intact and so that this whole makeup can last thank you guys for watching this video i do hope that I was able to deliver i hope that we hit the nail on the head and there was not too much talk i love you guys so much if you've not turned on the notification button please do that so that each time i post you get the notification and you'll be the first to know and please don't leave this page until you subscribe to my channel i love you guys so much and i'll see you all in my next